What is good guys, back again with another Transformers discussion video today, as you can see by the title, Top 5 Transformers that came out this year. So, I just want to say some honorable mentions. The Beast Megatron from Kingdom, the leader class, he's pretty cool, but he didn't make the list because all that rubber plastic they put all over him is very prone to breaking there were some breaking issues i think with the legs too and i don't know they they really just didn't really push the limit with this megatron like they did with some other leader class releases this year they could have made the the dinosaur head and leg or uh, tail removable to have him with two regular arms like he does in the show sometimes when he's like when he's like in his uh pool or like when he's talking to his rubber ducky um but just stuff like that would have been nice and uh next optimus primal he's pretty cool but again some more issues i have with him like the white paint chipping easily from the thighs and the beast mode is a bit weird with the legs and the way the arms look when you articulate them. Like there's this big gap in the in the elbow. There, he, he has like no elbow when you bend the arm. So. And the next Galvatron. He's cool. But again like with the Megatron. They didn't. I don't think they really did what they could have done in the $50 budget. For example, like with what they did with Slag and Grimlock. Um, the hollow forearms, no finger joint to hold the Matrix. Um, he's got good height and good weight to him. I just want to clarify too, I don't have this Galvatron. I'm just going off of reviews and images. Um, and my core top five list is figures that I actually have in my top five. And then I have another top five list of what it would be if I had some other figures that came out this year as well. So Galvatron I don't have, but I'm just basing my opinion off reviews and images I've seen online. And those main things is what bother me. Maybe they could have added, I don't know, an ab crunch or something. Just something extra to make it feel like they really did what they could have done fully in that $50 leader class budget. And then last, I want to do Warpath. I think he was a sleeper figure this year. Uh, he's not my favorite design of Warpath. I much prefer the IDW version or the one that Hasbro released back in 2011. But he is really nice. He's sort of like a mini MP, the way he transforms. And the final result is damn near pretty much what we see on the show. Sure, he's got little parts forming with a little um, with a little piece on the tank, but I mean, come on, I really don't care about parts forming. If it forms a good vehicle mode and robot mode, then I don't care. But those are my honorable mentions. So let's get right into my top five list. This is my main list. <clears throat> Number five, Dinobot. I really love his robot mode. The articulation is really nice. He feels like a mini masterpiece for the Voyager price point. The one thing that drags this figure down a bit and what lands him at number five is the beast mode. I feel like there's a lot of exposed robot kibble that shouldn't really be exposed. Um, I don't know. Maybe they couldn't have done something to hide that more. But I feel like the transformation is a bit bare bones in terms of... Uh, hiding the robot the robot bits for the for the beast mode but uh, yeah number five dinobot number four black arachnia she's really nice she again the theme uh, this year was truly mini masterpiece and i think that's what they're going to try to do going forward um she's very nice the beast mode is damn near perfect you could argue that some of the colors aren't accurate to the show or what have you. But honestly, she still looks... Oof, she looks flawless. The one thing that kind of sucks is no waist swivel. 
and the elbow joint looks a little odd when it stops at just 90 degrees because of how thin um, the lower arms are. But other than that, her head articulation is great. The leg articulation is phenomenal. But uh, yeah, number four, Black Arachne. And coming in at number three, Tigatron. I recently just got this guy a few days ago for Christmas. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> um, he is, he's even more of a mini masterpiece than Black Arachne and Dinobot. His beast mode hides the robot kibble so well. Sure, you have the feet sticking out and the, the underside is a little bit exposed. But compared to Black Arachne and Dinobot, he hides it so much better. And his articulation is way better as well. Um, the butterfly joints, the... You could say that his articulation could be lacking, but in terms of look, he, he barely has any hollow parts. And the sculpting is phenomenal. The head sculpt is great. Um, and he, the fact he comes with the gut gun, it looks so great. And even the tail whip is handled way better than what they did with Cheetor. And the transformation in terms of the lower legs looks way smoother than what they did with Cheetor. And it just shows you how much they cheapened out on that Cheetor release. But uh, yeah, next up, number two, Cyclonus. Once again, this is the mantra, mini masterpiece. What they did at the Voyager price point was phenomenal. The transformation was so satisfying, so many steps but not a but not a lot to like make it feel like it's too drawn out like certain MPs or third parties it's just right and it's so satisfying with the final product of the vehicle mode the spaceship it looks so nice and then of course the main attraction the robot mode it looks perfect sure you could say maybe they could have added a hinge for the for the hands so he doesn't have the circular hands all the time but man the head articulation the articulation in general it it makes up for it and then the look of him is so clean and so accurate to what we saw in the 80s cartoon and i don't know if they could do a better one maybe if they do one at a leader class price point they probably can but for now this is the best cyclonus we could ever get in mainline so, num my number one, drum roll please, people. My number one is Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. Before I get into the positives, I do have a couple issues with this guy, but it's nowhere near as severe as the honorable mentions or the ones farther down on this list. He, My issues with it are the shoulders, the locking joints. They're a little too like tight and um they they sort of just hinder the the movement a little bit and the way the shoulders are designed in general like you lift it up for certain poses you have to swivel the lower arm and then the shoulder looks all weird and discombobulated because of that but in my last complaint with this this is my last complaint the the ankle pivot i wish it was a little bit deeper that's those are my only two complaints positives the accessories they gave with him the effects beautiful i love how they improved on the matrix with adding that effects piece and the little blue flames slash blast effects for the guns and for his little um for the little pipes that he has very nice very well done and the little flip down visor phenomenal absolutely awesome and of the hand articulation, I love that. So he could hold the Matrix just like the Earthrise Optimus. And just like with the Cyclonus, the overall look of him in vehicle mode and robot mode is is damn near perfect. I don't know how they could do it unless if they up him to like a leader class, which I doubt they'll ever do. But that high rod figure is easily my favorite. Now I want to get into my top five list if I had some figures that I actually didn't get this year yet. Uh, number five, Tigatron. Number four, Cyclonus. Number three, Hot Rod. And what I did was I just bumped down my top three 
to number three, four, and five because my number two would be Slag from SS86, and number one would also be Grimlock from that same line. Those two, what they did at the leader class price point, it feels like a classic leader. He's They're big and tall. They barely have any hollow parts. Their little accessory pieces, the wheelie and the Daniel, are very lacking, but the figures themselves, man. I don't have those two, obviously. But from what I can tell from the reviews and the images, they just look like perfect leader classes. They really fulfill the $50 price point. Transformation seems awesome for those two. The dino modes look great. Robot modes are amazing. Articulation is great. Just really two great leader class figures and I wish we got that more from the leader class price point these days Galvatron and Megatron were close but I feel like they still skimped out on those two in certain places like I stated but uh, yeah those are my top five lists my honorable mentions let me know what you guys think down below my list what are your guys top five list of the year like this video, subscribe if you're new. My Instagram and Twitter are linked down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. See you.